In this video, we will find the starting point of a radical function. Now, remembering that the parent function, y equals square root of x, starts here at 0 comma 0. And further remembering that these uh, horizontal compressions or stretches and these vertical stretches or compressions, these will not affect the starting point. Okay, so when you look at this, all we really have to worry about is um, this negative 1 is going to shift the parent function to the right by 1. Notice it's the opposite of what it sort of looks like. Let me make a different kind of a 1. And uh, this plus 5 on the end is going to have the effect of moving the graph up 5. So we have a right 1, up 5 happening. So, uh, you know, if you look at that, okay, right 1, up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So um, this is going to be your end point right here. Okay, and then it's going to go on and do whatever it does from there. All right, but in the meantime, the end point is going to be 1, 5. That's it.